Hey guys, we're back for some more standard. Uh, I got a comment from um, one of my viewers here that I wanted to kind of explore. And they mentioned, um, why not try playing Fori Ganjo? Because extra copies could just be used as removal, essentially. And I kind of thought about it and I thought, well, I'd only ever played like one or two Iganjo just to make sure that I never had too many. But it's actually a decent point and I wanted to explore it. And I don't know if it'll be good, I don't know if it'll be bad. But I wanted to try it out because, you know, hitting land drops is super important. And so I wanted to make a deck that just really totally maximized the utility of its land. Um, so I, I put together a mono white human shell and then up the land count to 24 lands and just wanted to have kind of the maximum utility there, especially against control decks like blue white control, where they just constantly wipe your board and having things like Mishra's Foundry or Myrix tokens can help kind of give you that extra edge to get there. So without further ado, let's jump into the deck. Um, actually, I suppose first, I just want to say if you, if this is the first time that you stop by my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. And if you end up liking my content, please consider subscribing, maybe dropping a comment or a like, or sharing my channel with a friend who might also like it. And for my returning viewers, thank you guys so much again for your support. It really does mean the world to me. And again, I'm so excited about hitting 1,000 subscribers here. So thank you guys. I appreciate you so much. So let's have a look at the deck. Um, because I'm trying to like make so much room here in the land count, I wanted to just kind of jam as many creatures as I possibly could. So we, we don't really have removal in the deck per se, but... The idea is to kind of just sort of swarm them with value and then hopefully get the uh, the land to kind of push the, you know, the final edge. I suppose the only real remover we have in the entire deck is four copies of Iganjo. So it'll be interesting, but it also really kind of maximizes Thalia, which is really good right now in Standard, especially with all these combo decks running around. Um, control, as always, is a presence, um, especially now that the metagame has settled a little bit, I feel. Like, Control's really kind of got its footing for like what works and what works really well. And they're just really, really good at just beating the hell out of um, aggro decks. And so we're here to, to try to turn that trend around a little bit. But um, yeah, it's kind of the usual suspects here for um, the humans build. I did want to go with three copies of Spellbook Bender because every time I play this card, it's just been so ridiculously good. And a lot of the reason in the past for not running more copies of it has just been because there's just not enough land to really support it. It's very mana hungry. And so, you know, now that we're running 24 land, I think this is its moment. So we're going to see if that kind of does well. And then Recruitment Officer is also really good if you have a lot of land. Um, you can also easily, you know, make use of the Novice Inspector tokens by having that extra land lying around. So I'm hoping that I have enough mana sinks to kind of really get things going. All right, let's jump into some games. Hope you guys have had a nice weekend so far. It's been absolutely just beautiful weather, and um, I've been excited about, you know, at least um, I didn't get a chance to play in the Arena Open, but I did. Uh, I definitely do want to watch some videos. I know I really enjoy... Um, both like um, Numat Danami and uh, Nikolai Bolas as limited players. And so it's, it's, it's fun watching their content also. And I don't know if you guys have checked them out, but I highly recommend them. So, okay, yeah, this hand is great. We've got land, all of our Cavern of Souls work with everything in the deck. And let's go ahead and get it started. And of course, you're going to be naming human here. Everything in the deck is a human. Okay, this might be Jeskai or just is it? I haven't seen is it really, but Jeskai certainly has been running around. Okay, so I think let's just get uh, Thalia going here. There, I'm sure we'll not appreciate that. Um, that being said, let's get in first. 
Just in case they've got the Fading Hope, we want to make sure Thalia sticks around and kind of taxes their mana. Happy we waited there. Much rather have the uh, Thalia up than have them use the Play With Fire on our uh, Warden. Or, I mean, then on the Thalia. Okay, so now... Can't really get a good attack in here, unfortunately, but we can at least get Adeline down. We could also get Warden here and start Scrying, which I kind of like. Um, hmm. Maybe let's do... Yeah, I mean, Adeline is just great. But in case they've got Bounce or something, I kind of want to get maybe the Scry happening, start building up some troops here. So let's get uh, Warden. And then since this is kind of a race, uh, value is always great, but I think that we want to maybe be pushing damage here. So this way, like, next turn, we can go, like, Adeline and get the extra damage from everybody. I think I want to go with the Copper Coat. Also, the Ward is going to be nice. Okay, good on Thalia. I, I suppose they could, might be good to have like a backup copy in case they decide to kill the first one, which they could certainly do. Yeah, I suppose I'll leave it on top here as kind of a backup. This way if they do kill the Thalia, we can play like Thalia plus Kellen next turn and still double spell. Okay, now, unfortunately, because we don't actually have colored mana, we can't use um, Iganjo <laughs> right now. So I think we want to just go ahead and get Adeline going. All right, so... We could get in, they probably got spells to get this thing up to at least a 2-4, if not a 3-4. So I think I'm just gonna scry here with Warden one more time. Okay, very happy to see another Copper Coat. That looks great. And then, yeah, we can get in with a 4-4. Four, four. Um, I think I, I guess there's no real reason here to hold the land right now. I guess we could potentially like draw a land after the next turn. But I think just being able to play two spells here is pretty good. So I think I'm going to just drop the uh, Iganjo here. Opponent is deep in the tank, thinking about life and all of its possibilities. Or maybe they're just lagging out a little bit. Or maybe I'm lagging out a little bit here. Gonna try, I think, maybe restarting real quick, see if that helps. Oh, 
Okay, we're back. Um, yeah, I think I must have just logged, uh, lagged out there a little bit. Not sure what happened. So I think we missed the chance of playing the Ganjo, unfortunately. But I don't think it really mattered. Didn't do a whole lot. They have big score here. Um, they must have gotten rid of the gate somehow. Yeah. So either way. Play out the copper coat. is doing something maybe going for like March March of Mists perhaps okay so let's get Kellen down they could still have like fading hope here so maybe we want to save this in case they try to like bounce i don't know one of the copper coats or something we're missing like one point of damage by not playing the kellen but i don't think it's going to matter um although i suppose actually if we play the kellen then we can get an extra scry here which i like so i'm happy to tap down our copper coat Don't need a planes. Maybe opponent's looking like doing burn down the house, perhaps. I'm not sure where they're going. <clears throat> I guess they've got nothing. That'll work. Okay, this hand looks great. Got land, stuff to do, and like the whole deck can basically operate off of two land. I guess with the minor exception of Adeline, but yeah. It's uh, it's pretty good at just kind of getting in there. All right, I'm gonna lead out here with Officer. Probably just gonna go like double Warden next turn, but if we have a better option, I guess. I guess if we'd played Warden, we could have blocked. Um, not sure I want to trade with Swift Spear here. Uh, yeah, we're on the play. I want to get Knight Aaron out. I think I'm not going to trade. Could also go with Thalia here, but I, th I think I just want to go double Warden. Okay, land looks great. Give us an option to just drop Adeline here. We could also go like Thalia in tonight air if they don't kill anything. Okay, so this is the pump deck. Let's 
So yeah, we definitely want to get Thalia in, the, in there, I think. Um, start taxing their mana. And then here we're just going to go for a big Knight Errant play. Let's get a Copper Coat and a Veteran here. Just in case the life matters. Okay, whatever they've got, we're blocking it. Okay, Cavern feels good. Now we can just go Veteran into Adeline, which feels pretty good. And then, yeah, that's gonna do it. That'll be enough. Yeah, I gotta say, you know, it's fun to play, I guess every once in a while play Control, but I am definitely a aggro player through and through and it feels really good to be playing aggro again shorter games definitely great okay opening hand looks great got a nice one two three Also, just having the Cavern of Souls against Blue White just feels so good. So, this must be like the Helping Hand deck, I think. Either way, Thalia is going to be good against him. Ganja looks great also. So I, I am actually kind of excited to see what it's like having four Ganja in a deck. Okay, we can just go Knight Errant here. Okay, let's grab a Veteran and a Vendor. So I think we want to get double veteran going. Question is, do we want to try to hold the Aganjo up? I think maybe we might play it. Yeah, because that way we can go into Copper Coat here, which feels really good. And then into Knight Errant. Pick up 
pick up another Knight Errant, get an Adeline going. I could just do Adeline plus Inspector, but I mean, Knight Errant just finds more stuff, which is always good. Another copper coat is great also. So can they get to 12 with this thing by our next turn? Maybe, but we want to gain some life here. So let's... Yeah, I guess we want to make sure that the copper coat lands. Because they could have no more lies. That one is uncounterable, my friend. This is actually interesting. So we could, because this is going to be coming back Okay. Since this is coming back, we can just play another Thalia here to slow down their mana for all of their turn. Yeah, we'll lose a Thalia, but I think it's totally worth it. Um, let's just do that. Now we can push with both of our Knight Errants and then get another Knight Errant going. Yeah, I think the mana taxing is real. Like, we definitely want to make sure they are taxed at all times. Okay, so now if we play Adeline, we get another two power creature coming into the red zone. They have Gaze. So they can cast one Gaze and then maybe one other spell. So potentially make two more blockers. So functionally they'll have like five blockers. 
So that's all of these guys and these two here. And so we're hitting for two, four, six, eight damage. And then we can try to high roll on one of these map tokens. That might be the way. Okay, let's do Adeline for sure. I guess let's start with a one drop because then if they have no more lives, we could theoretically play around it. So I think I'm gonna start with Warden here. Although actually, Warden will give us two more life, but it won't let us maybe kill them this turn. And they can probably get this thing up to, yeah, this way we get another six life, which I think is maybe, like if we miss on the high roll here, we can try to do it over another turn. Plus now Warden can use these tokens here to scry. So if he has two spells, he can make these both three threes. If we shove with everything, It's not quite. This thing would be a 4-4. Four, four. Probably blocks here. We'd have one blocker. I think it's worth going for though. Like this forces... Question is, do we attack with Copper Coat or not? I think we full send, yeah. Maybe they only had one spell there. All right, thanks guys for watching. It's great to be playing aggro again. Really happy with the deck. Obviously it's doing great. Um, I highly recommend you guys check it out. Let's take a look at the stats. Okay, so this deck is currently at 100% win rate. So it's 4-0 currently. I played, I think, one match before I started uh, recording here. Um, but yeah, it's doing great. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much again for supporting me. And we will see you tomorrow.